Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Torquerous, which is a 32-bit style retro horror game where you play a sea turtle. And if you've watched any documentaries about sea turtles, you know they live peaceful, nice lives. Yoshi! I mean, turtle! There's an oil tanker off the, uh, coast. Not oil tanker, uh, oil rig. Alright, so I'm a sea turtle. Uh, as I was kind of mentioning, if you've seen any of those documentaries about sea turtles, <laughs> you know their lives are basically horror games. Um, I've actually visited some of the sea turtle rescues, uh, where you know, they have like, you know, like full grown babies, or whatever. You know, things they rescue, a lot of times they have like a lot of damage, and it's pretty, pretty grim stuff. But anyway, yeah, turtle. Hi, little, whoop. Hi, little guy. Gotta find something for your belly. What's this? Troll of a mustache. I wonder if that's proper anatomy. Shrimp. Shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp. Shrimp. See, this is the funny thing about underwater games. I don't. A lot of people don't like want underwater levels, right? And uh, I would have to agree. Like, usually underwater levels are like, eh. But underwater actual games are usually pretty fun. I mean, kind of like, um... I think one of the most famous ones is, uh... I always see it, I can't remember how you see its name. So it's either Echo or Eco. Eco the Dolphin. What is this, a pile of trash? I don't know, actually looking, we're actually in a junkyard. This is all garbage. At first I thought it was like coral. Like, just like a weird coral texture, but no, it's just garbage. It's a scrapyard. And... These are turtle shells. Huh. I'm assuming this might be the, the oil rig? Like directly under it. And even looking around, like that's like that's like a plastic bag. Sure, it's a lot of garbage around here. Why is that shrimp glowing? Is that even a shrimp? Uh... Did I just grow older? Did this shrimp like age me up? Mustache turtle, reveal this to me. Did you eat the oiled shrimp? Oiled shrimp. Seems like if you want to shoot oil, press E. Well, uh, why can't I shoot oil? I don't think that works that way. <laughs> we have an oil gland now. We ate the mysterious shrimp and now we have an oil gland. <laughs> Press E to oil. This is kind of like, uh, Eco. I think it is Eco, isn't it? Yeah, I'm tempted to say Echo, because it Echo's attack, but I think it's Eco. Yay. Music kind of got, like, scary. I'm not quite sure what this is. Second ship? This is, a uh, rust, not blood, right? I'm not sure what this... I can't even begin to f... Uh... Ah... Uh. What?
What's my back? I got like little prongs sticking out of it. This is a body horror game, isn't it? Oh! Wait, where were you? Sea urchins? I think this game is, uh... There, there was a 3D, um, Echo. Echo. It was like on the Dreamcast. It might have been the PS2 also. I think it was Submarine. It could be directly inspired. Bust this open. Clock? I have a clock in my back. I don't even know what it does. Maybe it's a compass? It doesn't really look like one. Plus there's a meter to the right. This is a weird turtle game. I mean, I like the vibe. I like, I like the campus for it's kind of going on. Secret. Secret dog. I always have to make SFX sound effects and music, not only levels. What is this? Yo. Someone really went down this path. By the way, I'm Poldarb, and because of the lack of time, I made only two levels for this game. So these are developers. This is the Easter egg room. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's determining the movement of the... It's not a clock. It's definitely like some kind of like... It's like depth. Or like a weird homing thing. Something over there. Oh god, it's a dolphin. Speaking of, uh, certain games about dolphins. What happened to you, my friend? That was worth it. Yeah, this is a body horror game. I don't like the void. No, you straight into, like, the void in the ocean. It's not a good feeling. What was that one cartoon series, Land Before Time? I think it was it. Littlefoot? Yeah, I think it was the second straight-to-video one. So whenever I think of a... Um, a horror water game... I think of a song they sang that was like... It was like Black Water, Dark Water. Oh, great. I'm going down. That's a call. A giant eel down here. It's pitch black. These are nautical mines. Oof. Yep. Not sure you're supposed to be blowing them up, but I am. Oof! I mean, close. It is to be a little clever here. There's no light, right? It's, it's it's really dark, but the yellow is so contrasted it acts as an artificial light source to guide the player. Flat. Yeah, I don't think this was. I don't think this was part of your usual Sea Troll documentary in National Geographic. Oh, 
the heart? Like, unironically, it's shaped like a heart. I think. What? Are we being juiced? No, our vision is being augmented. That's the end of the game, apparently. Oh my god. You know, four fins. I mean, plus, you know, jet propulsion, but still. Hand. I still hear something, but I think I think it's just looping. So I guess that's it for Torcarus. Uh, I do think this was inspired by uh, I can't, like I said, I, I you can welcome to correct me which one's the correct one. It's like either Echo or Eco, the dolphin, because it's that same thing where it's you're playing a sea creature that shoots a projectile, and at some point you'll encounter like a weird transformative body horror industrial zone at the end. The only difference is you, this when you're a turtle. We did see a dolphin, though. There, there was one. Um, and I, I'm wondering if this is... Because there was a nuclear submarine. There was a bunch of, like... There was a lot of stuff in the, the water. So I'm actually wondering if this is post-apocalyptic. Like, there was maybe a nuclear war or some kind of thing. And these are, like, the remnants of what's left. And at some point... Because I remember they actually were doing this, I believe. They were actually trying to train dolphins to use in the military. And I know that kind of inspired the units from Red Alert 2, the dolphins and the squids. So I think it's something like that, where this might be like a remnant machine, because it's like, looks kind of beat up, right? Where they were augmenting sea creatures to use in war. Maybe they clear out mines, maybe they hunt down submarines, I don't know. And you just manage to come across one. Like, some of the times these sea creatures just wander into these machines, and they're still operating, grabbing them and transforming them. Which is a good horror concept, actually. Like, you could make you could make a, a deep sea horror game like you play a turtle or something like that. I mean, technically, Echo the Dolphin. But I think I think that's kind of what happened. So it didn't quite go where I thought initially it was going to go. Because like, initially, as soon as you saw like the plastic bags and stuff, you're like, oh, it's going to be like pollution. And like, no, you're, you're a cyber turtle. <laughs> that That's where it went. And maybe that was, uh, that's a form of pollution in a sense. The, these death machines down the ocean. But yeah, part of the 32-bit game jam, pretty decent. Some a little more original use of the concept of theme that we're going to go for. Obviously, they didn't have enough time to add more levels to do stuff. They even say it in a little developer room. But I kind of like what we saw here. That's a nice little taste. Anyway, so I think I'm actually playing Torcarus. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.